दे आप सबका आज के एपिसोड में फिर से स्वागत है प्रीव्यू ऑफ मैच वीक 13 इंग्लिश प्रीमियर लीग चेल्सी टेक ऑन द रेड डेवल्स एज द लीडर्स मैनचेस्टर सिटी होस्ट वेस्ट हैम यूनाइटेड एंड आर्सनल टेक ऑन न्यू कैसल यूनाइटेड कैच ऑल ऑफ इट राइट हियर राइट नाउ एट द गोल पोस्ट Olegana shows a sacking sees Manchester United in May Shurwat may on an away trip to Stamford Bridge with Michael Carrick as interim manager. Carrick will be without Paul Pogba and Raphael Varane due to injury with Mason Greenwood out of play due to COVID. Edinson Cavani is also likely to be out due to a tendon issue. Luke Shaw who suffers from a possible concussion may be replaced by Diogo Dalot while Donny van der Beek's goal at Watford puts him in the line for a start. Carrick may use Eric Bailly here where the Ivorian will be needed in place of the suspended Harry Maguire. A familiar problem that has plagued the Blues this season ke shuruaat ke mahino mein reared its head before this game. attacking injuries Romelu Lukaku and Timo Werner have both been ruled out over the past few weeks albeit the latter is set to return against Manchester United Meanwhile Christian Pulisic Hakim Ziyech and Mason Mount have all had to deal with their own respective problems throughout the season with Harvard's looking likely to be restricted to the sidelines on Tuesday night ye ab Chelsea ke boss ke liye nayi musibat pesh karta hai with another attacking dilemma one alternative option could be to hand Christian Pulisic an opportunity from kick off after he found the net during his cameo against Leicester Wolves the like of Mason Mount and Callum Hudson Odoi could support the american on either flank guardiola has a few injury concerns going into this key game lekin is manager ne kafi samajhdari se rested a handful of his regular starters on sunday which means they will probably be rested for this game ruben diaz was rested on sunday but the central defender will come back into the side possibly replacing John Stones apart from this one change we don't think Pep Guardiola will be ready koi bhi dusra badlav karne ke liye apne backline mein barring a late injury crisis Manchester City will remain without Kevin De Bruyne for this fixture following his positive coronavirus test and it remains to be seen if Jack Grealish upyukt honge after missing the Everton win with a minor injury. Ferran Torres continues to battle back from his foot fracture and Cole Palmer led the line in his absence against the Toffees but Gabriel Jesus ought to return to the first 11 this week. Ruben Diaz and Riyad Mahrez are also in line for starts as Ilke Gundogan continues to benefit from De Bruyne's enforced absence in the middle. West Ham apne ek defensive khiladi ko khel mein nahi shamil kar payenge after Angelo Ogbonna underwent surgery recently due to damaging his ACL with Kurt Zuma and Craig Dawson expected to be starting this game. This game could provide the chance for the Hammers to rotate some players with the likes of Mark Noble, Manuel Lanzini and Vladimir Kupal all being options. Arsenal's hand game unbeaten run ache Shanu Buti ant pe aayi with a heavy defeat to Liverpool at the weekend but they have the chance to turn things around against the Premier League's bottom side on Saturday. Newcastle United travel to the Emirates Stadium and with no game for 5 days on either side of the match, Mikel Arteta isn't going to have any restrictions on his starting lineup barring the injuries to Granit Xhaka and Seed Kolasinac. Aaron Ramsdale was one of the few players to come out of Arsenal match against Liverpool with some credit. Kafi mazboot saves karne ke baad scores ko niche rakhte hue 
it's pretty likely he keeps his place over Bernd Leno. Thomas Partey should start, lekin unke midfield ke saathi is up for debate. Albert Sambi Lokonga didn't have his best game against Liverpool, but Ainsley Maitland Niles wasn't a huge improvement in the 37 minutes he spent on the pitch either. Pierre Emerick Albuma Young and Alexandre Lacazette apni jaga kayam rakhenge as Arsenal have done well against the league's lower sides with the duo up front. Though it's arguably now the case that their places are more under threat. Now, in dono khiladiyo ko aage aana padega aur fir se score karna hoga as it's been three games for Aubameyang and five games for Lacazette since they contributed to a goal. Martin Odegaard will probably be the most hopeful of breaking back in and taking Lacazette's place. Gabriel Martinelli is another option up front. Newcastle is still winless. Mission impossible for them to come out on top of this matchup. Thank you, friends, for watching today's episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, please do like our channel, share the video, and subscribe to the Boxit Sports channel. Thank you so much for tuning in.